We are extremely proud of the quality, balanced journalism that CBS4 News produces. But we are concerned about the celebration that is possible one-sided news stories plaguing our country. Plaguing our country. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish these same fake stories without checking facts first. The sharing of biased and false, false news, news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. This, this is, is extremely, extremely dangerous, dangerous to our democracy. democracy. This is extremely dangerous to our 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 democracy. GM, June the 1st is just around the corner and we're expecting some form of China narrative here with Hong Kong buying our bags and seeing some huge green candles on the markets. However, that is not what we've got this morning. Bear in mind it is May 31st, but Conflux is dumping here. Let's dive into why in this video. And if you enjoy the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel and drop me a GM in the comment section down below. So right about now, the general sentiment of the market is that there's going to be some bullish continuation or some form of bullish bidding from the Hong Kong region as they start to allow for retail participants to start bidding some big ticket assets. However, along with this positive sentiment, we're seeing a big red drawdown here for the Conflux token dubbed the Chinese Ethereum. This is one of my bags. My bags are being sold here. What is going on? So as you can see over the last 30 days, you can see there's pretty much a knife drop here over on the edge of this chart, big dip down. What has happened? So effectively here, we have news coming out of China that the CNHC, that is the Chinese stablecoin on the blockchain, and they were also bringing out a Hong Kong dollar as well. The issuers behind this trust reserve have apparently been seized by the Chinese police. But we don't know the full story to this, but Conflux going down here quite dramatically, around seven, well, about 10% from the highs over the last 24 hours. So when we look at the various Conflux news on mainstream right now, there is just positivity about new partnerships with Conflux and the likes of Tenet. We have OKX offering some big earn incentives for staking the CFX token. But when we come over here to Trust Reserve, you can see that these guys, the issuers of the Hong Kong dollar coin and CNHC, as they say, the offshore RMB coin, well, they haven't tweeted for quite some time here. So what has been going on? So this is the news breaking from Wu Blockchain. According to PA News, the offshore CNY stablecoin and the Hong Kong dollar stablecoin issue a trust reserve. The team were taken away by Chinese police for investigation. So as you can see on screen here, we have some office doors and a note on there with the date 29th of May, 2023. So this is actually two days old from the news breaking. It says in March, CNHC announced the completion of a $10 million Series A round of funding led by KuCoin Ventures and Circle and IDG Capital. Of course, Circle in there as well. So in my mind, they would have their ducks in a row. They would have compliance teams all over this to ensure that this was all above board. And as this alludes to down here, the founder of Multichain was also just taken away by Chinese police in Shanghai for other investigations, where apparently the Multichain team had tons of multi-tokens on their persons or on their wallets and it looked like they were doing some form of scam or exiting the markets which was literally the news story just a few days back so we're getting more negative sentiment out of china here but these two cases for me are very very different so if you go over to the trust reserve website here hong kong dollar coin and cnhc are backed by highly liquid fiat reserves and are issued by Trust Reserve, says their global compliance page. The fiat reserves of both of these are held in a licensed trust by custodian banks with an international reputation and are regularly reviewed by independent audit firms. So in my mind, I just can't see how you would have the likes of Circle putting money into investments over here if they hadn't done some serious due diligence. If you just go to their ecosystem page here, you can see Circle listed as one of their partners, along with partnerships with Conflux, also an investor as well. So when we see the headline of the Trust Reserve team here being taken away 
by the Chinese police. That is somewhat concerning, but I'm not convinced this is a cut and dry case that they're going to be, you know, taken away, taken out the back and shot here, as there is more information within the PA News actual release that came out earlier this morning. So as I say, this is two days old. Apparently the team have lost contact, says this, since the afternoon of May 29th, as it was revealed the team had been taken away by the police and detained and the family members of some employees have been notified. This is in the Pudong area of Shanghai. The sign apparently says, Judicial seizure, strictly no vandalism, dated 29th of May 2023. So then this is the interesting crumb of information down here. According to official information, Trust Reserve's products include the offshore RMB stablecoin and the Hong Kong dollar. But people familiar with the matter told PA News that the company's stablecoin business has not actually been promoted on a large scale, but the company has another cross-border payment business and the case may be affected by the payment business. So of course that maybe doesn't make 100% grammatical sense there as this is translated from Chinese. But what that is kind of saying is that maybe this is to do with an other arm of their business and their operations and not directly the stablecoin. So the stablecoin issuance is of course the major concern here. Is this the Chinese government not too happy with having digital currencies that they're not personally sanctioning getting transmitted across the globe. That could well be this, which would obviously be bearish. And I think this delves more deeply into the general sentiment of the Chinese government and having like these decentralized systems. Maybe they do want to have a lot of control here. And so this gets me thinking, maybe these guys, the teams behind this are taken in and quietly told, you're going to tow the line here and you're going to do as we say if you want to continue operating. But if we just go over to the CNHC stablecoin, the Hong Kong dollar isn't actually in circulation yet, I don't believe. But CNHC, it's only listed on coin market cap. And it says the self-reported circulating supply is just 5 million of these tokens. They currently trade around 14 cents. So that is less than 750,000 US dollars worth of this token actually in circulation right now, which is really small change. But this is certainly a very interesting case. But has Conflux as a result of say $500,000 potentially of CNHC maybe being taken off the markets? We don't know for sure. But the fact that Conflux has dropped like $60 million in market cap over the last few hours, is that a little bit of an overreaction? Well, we know crypto trades mainly off sentiment, off narratives. And of course, when you have this layer one ecosystem associated with an arrest of one of its partners, there's obviously going to be a bit of a sell off here. But as I say, again, this news is technically two days old. So I'm surprised the cat wasn't out of the bag earlier than this. As a result of this move down, a little bit of liquidation data here, around $2.1 million of longs have been liquidated. Funding rate wise, nothing really to write home here, but I will keep an eye on this to see if this does become massively negative across today, as there could well therefore be a short squeeze afterwards. So Dark Lady Crypto tweeted this, what if we're witnessing the front running of sell the news right about now? And that the June 1st huge candles we were expecting are maybe just going to be sell the news events from Hong Kong. I kind of doubt that a little bit because of course I do not want that to be the case. Now notifications on with this guy, this is Moon Wu. He is one of the CTOs over at Conflux. Hasn't tweeted about this as of yet, but again, this could be a good follow. Get the notifications on and see what the Conflux team response is to one of their partners getting arrested. Just for info, this is the multi-chain chart. That was the arrest day around here. We hear that the multi-team has hundreds of millions of multi-tokens on their persons. And then we had this kind of short squeeze back up. Now it's put in a bit of a bottom here and it started to move up yet again and the multi-chain bridge is back up and online once more now this was a totally different case this was around fraud and certainly real grounds for arrests whereas with the conflict situation with trust reserve not 100 percent confirmed that it is around their stable coins it could be another business line that they're getting investigated for but this police seizure could just be heavy-handed tactics by the chinese government letting them know who is in charge. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you up to date with developments as they occur. But for me personally, there's no real action for me to take today as there's simply not enough information and we don't know if the source of the information is 100% correct 
either. Quick bit of token unlocks data, another huge one here from one inch. One inch on the 2nd of June has $96 million worth of tokens hit in the market. Their market cap is just $316 million. So as we saw yesterday with Sui and also Optimism, both have tanked subsequent to that video yesterday, talking about their huge unlocks. Optimism have already started to unlock. If we just scroll down to here though, you can see the vesting schedule for one inch. It's these big cliff drops. So the last one was the 4th of December. This one is the 4th of June. If you just go over to the price chart of one inch, you can see this is around the 4th of December, around here somewhere. It's around 50 cents in price. Tokens come out, it dumps down quite significantly, down to around 39 cents. And then today we're in a similar position at 39 cents, but the token unlocks are in just a few days from here. So this obviously could see a further cascade and it would actually print, if that happens again, a new low, which is one of the few charts I've seen where a coin is printing new lows into 2023 as opposed to 2022, a very bearish thing. And then just to finish up, we have a lot of redacted market participants out there. Captain Rational posted this, not even what the fuck are people smoking? This is just some low IQ wavelengths in play. So someone tweeting, choose decentralization, choose loyal. This is like the third token that BitBoy is now screaming about over on his Twitter feed. He is insane, if you ask me. And then we have this, I genuinely don't understand. People are raising seven figures by posting an ETH address. I feel like I'm being tricked watching this happen. Bleaker also saying, why are you FOMOing to things like this? FOMOing in, giving a wealthy guy who already has money, more money, as he posts his ETH address, go and buy a homeless person some dinner, you absolute weirdos. This comes off the back of PaulieXO, send ETH here, and now it's got seven figures worth of Ethereum in that address. So in my mind, this kind of market behavior should lead us to lower prices, not gonna lie. The fact so many idiots would send money to these random addresses just being posted by idiots online, that all the grifters selling you the hope of potentially spinning up a meme coin that does well, when we've just seen the fact that all the meme coins they've been listing have done horrendously, well, it seems people are keen to put their dick in the pencil sharpener yet again. So overall sentiment here today as a check is pretty damn bad. But let me know your thoughts on this one down below. Is this a wild over reaction by the market, the dump off in conflux here, as it is just one of their associated partners with trust reserve? Or do you think this is warranted and that the Chinese narrative is dying before it starts? I'll see you again in the next one, guys. Peace.